Very warm greetings everyone, welcome back once again. My name is Nick on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world, and this is a 3D maze game called Zoom, published by Sega in 1990. It's a game we've also reviewed on the Commodore Amiga and the Commodore 64, also come out on DOS 2, where basically you're controlling a, a Pac-Man type character over a grid to capture various squares. But in this he's called Mr. Smart, uh, one to two players, I'm the only player here. So we'll do one player, but the story is, Earth has been captured captured by space phantoms, it's irrelevant anyway, but uh, using magical force fields they've captured big blocks of the earth and we need to circle those squares to get them back again, but you'll soon get the idea. So reviewed, as I say, we reviewed uh, Amiga and the Commodore 64 versions, here we are on this one, this is our first map, and this creature down the bottom. Now, yes, this is a bit different to the other versions, looks like you can jump and fire as well I think, so you can see I'm leaving a Psy and um, marker behind me. As soon as I circled a whole square, we capture that bit, and we need to capture the whole thing. On this first stage, there's just one enemy after me. If I bash into them, I'm dead. Various power-ups will appear on the screen, either for points or magical abilities. Right, that's giving him a pasting. Good. Right. Lives... Oh, that's a bit, a bit of speech. Oh, lives are in the top left. If you had this back in the day, let me know. So it's not Pac-Man this time, or a Pac-Man-like creature. It's a, a, a new man. Uh, they are called Mr. Smart. This looks like the most advanced version I've played so far. The squares are flashing, but that, that bit of repetitive speech is going to get annoying really, really fast. Uh, right, okay, I'm about to do it now. Just go around here. But the firing and the jumping, that can get you confused. So only use that when you have to. Don't overcomplicate it. That's it, isn't it? Come on, boy. I was a bit there. There we go. And a bit of a, bit of a, uh, you know rumble once you've done the stage. So this is my first go on the thing. It's not expert gameplay, it's nincompoop chat, it's stress busting, we're having a laugh, I'll give you some information, won't give you all the information, sometimes what things I'm doing might be a bit wrong, but it's as to keep playing the game in the first instance and that's what the, the genre and the aim is. Uh, we're not the teachers, but we're the kids having a bit of a laugh when you got home from school. Right, here's the next maze. Good, good, good. Don't forget, don't forget your kidneys when you was playing these games originally, or could have been playing them originally. Now let's continue saving the world. So there's a few more enemies this time. Um, I'm leaving a purple uh, patch behind me. If you're leaving a purple patch behind you, then go and see the Doctor. Right, okay, not Doctor Who. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Right, I, I clicked the power up which made them freeze momentarily. Go on, boy. Now why can't they turn that off? Oh, boy. That's, that's the one bit of speech in there. Oh, kaboom. So it's quite swish. I do like the background there. You can see like there's the moon or something there in, in the background. As we go around to try and capture all these planets back. Right. Come on, Mr. Smart. In two players, because you both play simultaneously. I think you'll be orange and your opponent uh, your in this will be light blue. Uh, I wonder how far he can jump, to be honest. I don't think he can jump from one side to the other. Let's go the long way across. So you know what to do already. Oh, well, we can jump right across. Good. Uh, a bit like uh, Amada, I suppose, the original games. Capture squares, but we're 3Ding. We're 3Ding. Good, good. If you want to see other Mega Drive games we've reviewed, they are there in a playlist. We've done quite a few now, not all of them, that's for sure. Uh, but we've done quite a few on our way. They're in a playlist. Uh, to get there, there's a link in the description uh, below. Or you can click on my username, it takes you to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab across the top. And uh, Mega Drive will be there along with a load of other stuff, or Genesis, if you want to call it that, if you're from the States. But it's the same system, inside at least. It looks different from the outside, but it's the same, the same basic system. Right, bone boy, is that it? No, I've got those on the other side. So there's a lot of flashing going on. If there's a lot of flashing going on in your house, then comment in the comment section below. Make sure it's not a fire, and make sure it's not one of those flashes that uh, get arrested. Hooray! Right, okay. We go off on a tangent once again. Do -be -do -be -do -be -do. If this is the first video you've seen on the channel, well, good luck you. There's, fa there's thousands of cha uh, videos on this channel, thousands, and um, they don't get any more, um, you know, sensible. Hooray! I, I make, you know, I don't apologise. Send me to the mental police. No, don't, because I won't be able to get out. Good. If you also, if you're a member of the mental police, then comment uh, in the comment section below. Or if you're running away from them, uh, also comment. I might be able to give you somewhere to hide in the woods. Da la 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 la. Gotta help each other, us nutcases. Right, mm, surely I've done it now. Well, this is just a bit down the right hand side. Oh, that's it. I think I didn't circle everything, but must have got enough power ups to succeed. And it's kaboom. I do like that. I do like that rumble of the screen when it goes there. 
So it's an interesting one. I don't think it would have been my, one of my go-to games. I mean, it's not using the Mega Drive to its full power, but what is there is nicely done. It's not very smooth, that animation of the um, maze rotating around, but fair enough. I don't mind. Could have been coded slightly better, one would have thought, but uh, it's still fine. Still a good game. I'm being nitpicky, like a picky nit. Right, so we've got two jellyfish this time and that fella, but it's the same sort of thing. We put, like we've put a different line behind us. On the Amiga version and Commodore 64, if you press fire, you could drop a bomb behind you. Here, you just seem to fire uh, a ball of energy instead. So there are slight differences uh, between the two. As I say, it just feel like, it's, although it's the same idea, it's a slightly different uh, game, this version. Sega 1990. Like to do a bit of jumping, I can't seem to collect that hot dog. Hmm. But the, the power-ups just won't stay there all the time. They'll be momentarily there, so if you muck about zipping around. be extra fun with your opponent. If he was on two player, was trying to get the stuff as well, that would be quite good to see. But uh, I think the enemy's AI, they're sort of like slowly going towards me, some of them. Others are just staying on the tracks, going left and right, not coming towards me. A bit like the, well, the jellyfish, they're coming towards me. No, I think they're just doing their own thing, the jellyfish. The only thing coming towards me is that green lizardy hand thing. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, God, that's getting annoying quite quickly. Bye, 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 bye. Right, I've died. No mucking about there. God. Do we do we do? I will just have one go. Maybe see maybe see the competition mode, see what that has to um, offer. But sometimes it get a bit tight here. Maybe you lure all the enemy to get in the same bit of the screen and then zip up to the other side of the screen to get that. The controls well they're not brilliantly precise, but they're about eighty percent precise to give you a bit of a challenge. It also depends what controller you're using, I suppose, as well. I can't blame the coders for that. That's it, isn't it? Yay! Take that! Take that, big nose! That's what Darth Vader used to say when he cut someone's head off. He cut someone's head off in the film and then they're going to take that, big nose. Yeah, I might be I might be remembering it wrong. Or maybe I'm getting it mixed up with a dream uh, one day when I ate four kilograms of cheese. Right. If you have just eaten four kilograms of cheese and dreamt about Darth Vader cutting people's heads off and saying big nose, then comment in the comment section below. Right, off we go again. Purple trowel. Do we do we do? The music is quite comfy, isn't it? And don't crash into that because that's some sort of mine. So if you see that in the real world, a blue spherical thing with red bits sticking out, don't don't walk into it. Just walk around it. Maybe put one of those yellow cones there next to it to warn other people. Got to do your neighbourly thing. Do we do we do? So I say the further you get into this, it's just to be variations of a theme, ever increasing, more complicated mazes, more stuff on the map that can actually kill you. So it's it's nice and gentle. First of all, you know what to do straight away. It's got a lot of playability on it. If you're liking puzzle games, then this is probably the best version of Zoom I've played so far. Uh, I'm not sure what the DOS version's like. Whether it takes after this or goes for the Amiga and Commodore 64, so like counterpart versions trying the smallest Pac-Man, but this one seems much more alive, it seems a little bit more original uh, than those other ones, although essentially, as I say, it is more or less the same game. Uh, I just like this Mr. Smart character, whoever he may be, I think he might be a rabbit of some description, maybe. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, man, you're going to be hearing that all the time, aren't you? That's probably sampled from a film or, or some popular thing, which you're going to now tell me. If you know where that's been uh, sampled from, because I doubt they've got some... Uh, artist in a studio just to say that for a million pounds. I reckon they sample it from somewhere else and hope the person wouldn't notice. It's probably a famous line. You tell me. Tell me the info. Do -da 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 -da. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Oops, I've been flattened. Uh, yeah, I, I like that. That could have been a bit better, but I, I, it suffices that death scene. Oh, it's game over. It's game over. Well, a pull over. Uh, take the wrong train to Dover. Uh, yes. Right, game over, man. As I said in Aliens, uh, Hudson said that. Uh, well, we only used to be about 10 minutes. We're pretty much more or less there. I've shown you all that this thing pretty much uh, has to offer. So, you know, it's not a bad little game. Zooming around with a big exclamation mark on there as well. I will just, before you go, I will just have a quick look at the uh, competition mode, I think. Which I sort of like gone into. Competition mode. Competition, 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 competition. Oh, all 
all it is is all it is is two player, I think. So yeah, in two player, there's a blue one. It's who, who can get the most points essentially. And looks like we've got more enemies too. But anyway, anyway, well, not bad little game. Zoom. I, I recommend checking that one out. Nice and gentle. Not the blockbuster title. For what it does, there's good. It's the best version you can get. So I hope you like looking at that. That was Zoom on the Sega Genesis of Mega Drive. Uh, published by Sega in 1990. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Love hearing from you. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Cool. Good. That's getting annoying quite quickly. Bye. 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 Right, I've died.